Hi, this is Jeremy from Wet Paint, and in this video, uh, we're going to go ahead and continue talking about tables. In our last video, we talked about how to add a table and do some editing of the characteristics of it. Um, in this one, we're going to take a look at how to add content to our table that we created in our last video. So as you can see, uh, this page has things like text, images, and widgets, but they aren't very organized. So let's go ahead and add these things to the table we created and see what kind of difference it can make. First off, go ahead and click Easy Edit, and that'll get us into the editing mode. And then let's start by cutting and pasting the text from the page into the top cell of the table. Next, drag and drop a photo up to the top cell as well. And at this point you might need to adjust the way the text wraps around the photo by clicking on the photo and editing the properties. Last, we can go ahead and drag and drop the widgets or content modules that are on the page into the bottom two cells of the table. In this case, we'll put a widget on the lower left cell and we'll place the content module on in the lower right cell. Once you're happy with the placement of the content within the table, go ahead and save the changes and that should look a lot better. If you want to get really crazy, you can try adding tables within tables. With a little practice, you'll be making some really awesome looking pages in no time. Feel free to experiment with different numbers of columns or rows and other table options to vary the page design. There's not really any right or wrong way to do it, so just play around and figure out what works best for your site. That's pretty much it for tables. If you still have any questions about how to use them or have suggestions on how we can make them better, be sure to let us know in the discussion forum on wetpaintcentral.com. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you online.